What's up, you hockey nuts? It's Tony Adenucci with Playmakers Hockey. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, today's video topic is going to be the importance of facing the puck uh, in passing situations when you're the player that wants the puck. So you're the player that does not already possess it, but you're, uh, the, your teammates got it in possession and you want to make sure that you're facing that player to be available to receive. Um, so we're going to show you first two drills that can be used to practice these situations. The first one's a real simple pivot passing drill. I like this one because it forces you to keep your stick on the ice throughout the entire drill. And then the second one is going to be to replicate uh, transitional play, whether it be um, on the breakout, if you're a wing on the wall, uh, or through the neutral zone in transition that way. Um, and then in the three NHL clips, all from the Carolina Hurricanes, you're gonna see one clip, the first one, is gonna be unsuccessful because both players skating through the neutral zone that are options aren't gonna show their teammate that they're available because they're gonna show him their rear ends and you'll see the net result because they didn't face the puck is going to be an icing play and then in the last two sequences with the hurricanes you're going to see really good examples of the player without the puck presenting themselves as an option to the player with the puck by facing them creating a perfect passing angle and the last one they actually convert uh, on a nice uh, nice pass off pads to score so um, to me Facing the puck solves a lot of problems. It immediately helps us uh, retain puck possession. And if you if you face the puck, you're always gonna have a perfect passing angle. There's no such thing as a bad angle if you're uh, facing the player that has it. So hope you guys enjoy.